okay i did say we had a variety of questions so here we go i have noticed many long-term shareholders are overly emotional when it comes to the day-to-day price action of the isla stock i compare their memories to that of a goldfish is there anything you might say to them specifically that could keep them remaining optimistic on the red days or red weeks uh, well, whoever supplied that question mentioned the word goldfish and not me. So just want to clarify that. Now, look, I'd say we've been here before, Claire. You know, we've had red days. We've had multiple red days. We've had red weeks, multiple red weeks. You know, and back at that time, it didn't really matter what we said. The majority of the comments would be negative. So, I mean, you'll remember that was roughly when you joined and you must have been thinking, what the hell have I gotten myself into here? Uh, Now, at times, it's a similar thing, although we have the benefits of having proven that we do deliver and will continue to deliver. Uh, But that's how it is on the OTC. You know, you can acquire a significant company with customers like Shell and BP and $8 million in annual revenue, and then you can still have a red day. And on that day, people will still say, you know, who cares about that? Give us the SS updates. Uh, we have these additional three new acquisitions that we're completing that, that will bring in an additional 12 million revenue. As I mentioned, that's before we even add any additional growth to them. And then, you know, people will still say, well, give us your third quarter figures. Uh, despite us having shown those earnings or given a high level view of those earnings, it's pretty darn easy to work out very closely what those are. And we've said that our filings take place on the 15th of November, and that's the earliest date that we, we can release the full figures. And there's just so much stuff going on on a daily basis, amazing things going on in the life of wireless. You know, we just don't have the time to always update on it. Uh, BCD Fire and Bullhead products are working on really, really huge orders. Our distributor in Georgia hit its annual targets with more than two months to spare. So there's a lot of things which we're just ticking off boxes as we go. Uh, We're going to be acquiring multiple companies leading up to our annual shareholder meeting and then our NASDAQ uplist. And and that's just going to continue well beyond. So I'm not sure if people felt that there would be a slowdown in news leading up to the shareholder meeting. Now that we've been making those acquisitions in the US, which we spoke about, and they're not sure what the roadmap is beyond now and NASDAQ. But from our perspective, we're really only getting into our stride. We're getting better at what we do all the time, more efficient as we add more staff and those staff learn the business and our efficiency is just increasing all the time. There's plenty more to come. Um, As we've mentioned, we're busy with due diligence on a company that's got revenues in excess of $100 million annual revenues. And that forms part of our NASDAQ uplist plans. Uh, You know, I'm more excited personally than ever. Uh, We've made multiple acquisitions in the 10 months that we've been going already. We'll have made more by the end of our first year, by 12 months. Our revenue has been up, our profit has been up every single quarter. We're well on track to hit our annual target for the year. In the end of the day, what more could you ask for from a company? So look, to answer the question, I do hope that people find this all cause for great optimism. Uh, We've delivered and we are delivering on all of our stated goals when it comes to growing the business. Yes, we might have been a day or two late here and there in terms of an announcement, but those who have actually run multiple businesses will understand why that can happen. I mean, it only takes one accountant to have COVID, to get COVID, to throw you off a day or two. And at the end of the day, we are delivering and we are achieving real world revenue with technology that is saving lives and it's making a real impact. And we're doing this whilst other OTC companies are still you know, fudging around, trying to get their concepts off the ground and get them approved. So, you know, when you think about it, that's why we're so passionate. That's why we've got such a passionate team. It's why we've got such a passionate group of long-term shareholders. Who There's people who see what we're doing. They understand it and they believe in it. And then on the flip side, you've got that short-term mentality that does exist and it will always exist. We know where we're headed. We know we're achieving great success. And those who know, who really know what we're about, will be loving this journey with us. So, yeah. I couldn't agree with you more.